Lebanon's Independence Day wasn't supposed to be a high drama. Yet this 74th celebration won't be remembered for its pomp and ceremony. Saad Hariri's extraordinary political decision to meet Lebanon's president and suspend his own resignation announced weeks ago in Saudi Arabia got everyone's attention. I'm going to stay and continue with you. We are here at the front lines defending Lebanon's stability and Arabism. We don't have anything that is more precious than Lebanon. Our slogan will always be Lebanon first. Lebanon has been living with the threat of Saudi Arabia imposing economic sanctions since November the 5th. That's when Hariri announced his resignation, citing what he said was the threat of Hezbollah in and outside of Lebanon. The situation became even more tense a week later during an interview on Lebanese TV when he gave the impression that he was under some kind of house arrest in Riyadh. After seeking the help of France's president, Emmanuel Macron, Hariri jetted back to Lebanon. But on Wednesday, in a palace on the outskirts of Beirut, he said he was holding back his resignation. And that's increased his popularity in Lebanon enormously. He's the only person that will save Lebanon because there are so many people behind him after all. We wish Saad Al Hariri did not resign. We trust the man. He is a moderate politician. A government that will focus on Hezbollah's activities in the region, particularly in Yemen, which Saudi Arabia says is being used to fire Iranian missiles at its capital. And so now all eyes are on this diplomacy. Many here in Lebanon wonder whether this tiny country is able to bring the regional superpowers Iran and Saudi Arabia to the same negotiating table. If that were to happen, Hariri, who just weeks ago was seen by the Saudis as the source of the problem, would show he's able to resolve it. Martin J, TRT World, Beirut, Lebanon.